sticks over here, y'all. Big sticks, big sticks, big sticks, big sticks. <laughs> Draco. So, she make it clap, clap, clap. She make it clap, clap, clap. She oh. make it. What's good, y'all? Welcome back to another YouTube video. <laughs> My name is Tori, aka Golden Rose. Mm -mm -mm. How are you guys doing mentally, physically, and spiritually, y'all? It's a little minute. Like your girl over here loving her hair. It's like her nails off. Like it's getting. I'm giving, I'm giving very much, mm, very much finding myself, <laughs> very much, you know, just getting into it, just, you know, living. I call it living. <laughs> so I know you guys read the title down below and you saw it right, you saw it right, girl. Today we're going to be talking about the update on my hair. I told you guys I was going to do like an update. You guys are on this journey with me. So I'm going to document, tell everything, show everything, show y'all how my hair is, is going, all this and that, you know. <laughs> that good stuff. So guys, oils. Let's talk about oils, oils, oils. The new oil regimen is nothing, nothing new, which is my wild growth and my Jamaican black castor oil. So what I do is I go to the store. I got this from my local beauty supply store and make sure you read the ingredients on there. The ingredients on there specifies that this is just peppermint oil and Jamaican black castor oil. And Wild Grove has a whole bunch of oils in there that I love that actually helps grow my hair because I use this. It really works. It really, it really works. Look, your girl got it. I ain't gonna lie. Cause I take a, a whole bottle of this and a whole bottle of that. This is literally six bucks, six ninety nine, maybe seven bucks at my local beauty supply store. This was five dollars and forty nine cents. Come on, come on, give me very much affordable. Okay, <laughs> I usually I take this, mix, 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 them, and I get this wonderful concoction right here. I mix a whole bottle of Jamaica Black Castor Oil with a whole bottle of Wild Growth, and it gives me this. Gives me this right here my little handy dandy bottle um another thing that i do use is i use essential oils to make that oil smell good like a lot to make black cat oil smells like earth and then the wild growth smells like earth and butterflies so i need to smell like earth and butterflies i need a little bit of fall and i need, I need a little bit of winter in there too. so <laughs> so what i use is i just do some peppermint oil as you guys can see, this beautiful peppermint oil. This was literally six bucks. And then I take my beautiful cinnamon oil and I mix that. And I got that from my local beauty supply store. And I mix that in there. Shake it up, baby. Shake it up. 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 And literally, there's no, I didn't do any type of measurements. I literally just drop, 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 drop. All right, that's good. Don't do that. <laughs> I know it's bad, but like, drop, 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 we good. So, put this on my hair, I take it, and I oil my head with it. Normally, I mist, put some oil mist again to seal it, so the moisture gets in my hair. And that's it. I go on about my day, sweetheart. I go on about my day. But that's the only thing that changed, just my oil. I just added two essential oils just to make my hair smell good. Um, The next thing I would like to include, there's no pros or cons. It's literally, girl, I don't have any cons with my hair. It hasn't given me any problems. Like, I literally love taking my hair out and letting it swing low and swing wherever it wants to do. So, ah, uh, yes, retwist. So I know you guys are probably wondering, like, girl, your hair looks fresh. Like, what's going on? What is going on? I know no retwist lasts that long. Well, what happened was, um, in my last video, you're going to see that I use tropical roots. Put the picture right here. And what happened was literally I did my hair. It was it was cute. It was amazing. It stayed. It looked beautiful, girl. I'm gonna put the video right here. Uh, put it on Instagram. If you do not go ahead and follow me on Instagram, which is Toriana305. Yes, I'm dropping my Instagram down below so you guys can look when I post. I post when I post on here so you guys can see. But I posted that on my on my um Instagram as soon as I got done with my retweets. I thought that junk was so sexy, bro. My rings keep falling off. <laughs> I thought it was so sexy. <laughs> I thought it was so sexy. I was just like, yo, look at my hair. Look at my hair. Like, I felt so proud. Like, this is mine. I want you to look at this. This is beautiful. And literally, it lasts. It lasted three days until my stupid butt 
I was like, oh, dang, I want to go to the beach. I want to go to the beach. I want to go to the beach. And then something was in my head like, yo, don't go to the beach. You, you just did a retwist. Like, what are you going to do? Your retwist is going to, like, come loose. Once I got in that water. What's wrong, okay? When I came down. <laughs> Once I got in that water. I had fun in the water. I, I, was, I had so much fun in the water. My hair. I, It unraveled and it looked it looked as if I didn't I didn't do a retwist at all whatsoever. Like it was just like whoop. Now when now prior to me going to the beach, the day before I went to the gym, my, my retwist was perfectly fine. But I went inside the water, I was sticking my head inside the water, floating, doing all this extra crap. And then my hair literally unraveled. So yeah. If you're getting a retwist and you're doing side locks like me, lesson learned, don't go to the beach, miss your hair and going about your day. But if you don't care, go to the beach, girl, I don't know. But with me, I'm trying to make my retwist last. I want it to look as fresh as possible for as long as it can. I don't mind the messy look, but you know, I spend my long, hard earned time with my with my beautiful my beautiful arm and beautiful muscles i use that to do my hair and i'm just gonna waste it and just go get in the water and it's all gone like no yeah if you want to save your coins and have your money well spent just kind of chill out with getting underwater like submerging your head in the water you can get your hair wet just don't submerge it underwater like i did so once when that happened i was like okay cool i got out the pool i got out not the pool i got out the beach and i was just like mm my hair <laughs> and i'm gonna insert a video right here on how my hair looked right after i got the beach i'm probably gonna show one at the beach or me leaving the beach whatever i'm put an insert a video right here girl it's not bad but i was just like dang like i was in it i was like wow all that's gone away oh well <laughs> and like it didn't really hit me to like three days later i'm like wow like i can put my whole finger through the new growth i was like okay um well maybe it's okay it's it's cool and then as i'm going like you know the second day my hair started marrying together i was just like crap well i need to do something because i'm not trying to freeform so we're gonna have to do something about this i did that i was like three days later i was like okay cool let me just let me bust out a retwist i was like okay instead of using that gel the tropical roots i didn't want to i didn't want too much buildup on my hair i was like let me just use some oil and water because i've seen videos where young men young ladies they use oil and water and it does just as good and looks just as good Girl, I, I love the oil and water i don't think i'm going back but <laughs> i literally took jamaican black castor oil mixed with the oil that i showed you guys in my first video is the rastafari hair growth oil so I took this and I mixed it with my Jamaican black castor oil. Got like a pretty thick oil. I like the Jamaican black castor oil I told you guys previously. It's because it's so thick and I just feel like I got I get a lot of holes. So once I did I did my regular weed twist as if I showed you guys in my previous video. If you do not know, go ahead and watch that first weed twist video on my first month update, girl. Go watch that. Pause this video, go watch that, like, comment how you liked it, and then come back, press play, and finish this video. I'll wait. In 20 minutes, and we're gonna be fine. All right, what's good? What's happening? <laughs> so, yes, I did that, and I just retwist as normal. Once I retwisted, girl, that retwist lasted a good two weeks. A week and a half it's almost it was almost two weeks. and i told you guys i wash my hair every week and a half every other week so like every other week not every two weeks probably gonna have to stretch it this time but every two weeks, girl so i sat up here and i went in the shower like let me just wash my hair let me wash my hair so i did it whoosh everything i was like crap all right what is going on <laughs> what is going on and i was just like okay well it's whatever my hair's not coming to lose none of that it's cool it's whatever the ends they're not coming to lose the, as you guys can see like yeah we're, we're perfectly good like they're not coming to lose or anything so i'm like hmm, all right well i can go i can go a couple of a couple of days or so after washing my hair you know i washed my hair before i went to school actually because i don't know school started college <laughs> and i washed my hair that morning my hair was very very puffy got real bushy 
and um washed it with you know normal one two three four five days and i was just like okay awesome again like before i don't know what i did maybe because i was very hard-headed and washed my hair and i should have waited a little bit longer i washed my hair and some of them actually stayed like some of them let me see if i can find some some of them actually stayed close to the scalp like it it it, it was close to the scalp where i didn't once I took, like, the retwist was stuck there. But some of them, like, like this one right here. Some of them were actually, well, I don't have to retwist too much. Some of them actually stayed, you know. But then some, I had, like, this much new growth. I could literally put two fingers, one to two fingers in between. I'm like, yo, what is going on? Now, at this point, it's time to regroup, rethink of, you know, regroup. <laughs> Get back to, to, to square root one, which is, I don't know. <laughs> But no, I'm kidding. Get back to square root once again. I did my hair. Once again, I just retwisted my hair after a week later. Gave my hair like a week full of rest. And I just retwisted it back on up. I know you guys think I'm like, okay, girl, you're retwisting your hair. Just leave it alone and let it do this, let it do that. I'm gonna keep it 1,000 with you. I know when I first started this channel, I told you guys that I'm going against the odds. I'm not doing, you know, what everybody would say. Like, oh, don't do that. Oh, do this. Oh, don't do that. Like, this is my journey. So, I'm gonna be real with you. I'm going to learn some things and by me sharing my experience, maybe I'll help you guys. But as I was doing research and I was just like, yo, maybe I want to know if there's any anyone else who's having this problem like I'm having. So I looked up a couple of YouTube videos. I'm doing research on online, on the web, looking up, I'm reading, I'm doing all this extra stuff. And honestly, from reading other people's experiences, they're having the same issues I was having, which is they would retwist. And depending on how fast your hair grows or what you do, if you work out a lot or if you have bad dandruff, so you have to wash your hair a lot, it may differ from how often you can or cannot retwist. One thing about me, my hair grows quick. Another thing about me, my hair gets really puffy, like really frizzy. I'm, I'm gonna need retwists. I'm gonna try to go as long as I can. Like, I'm pretty sure as my locks mature, I'm gonna chill out with the retwists, but I know at this moment, if I want to keep my parts, cause girl, I can get real cool to Kente back here. <laughs> I know if I want to keep my parts, if I want to keep, you know, a lot of things in check or, you know, train my hair, I'm gonna have to, you know, if not every every two or three weeks, I'm gonna have to slide one in at least once a month or so, but that's, that's me. Now for other people may differ. Like as I was looking up a lot of videos, it all depends on your hair. Everybody hair is not the same. So Susie and John might not need a retwist, but Tori and Sarah Martholomew may need one. <laughs> so yeah once again um if you can get anything from this video it's pretty much do what you gotta do it's your hair you know your hair you know your hair more than any anybody else so you know your hair better than your loctician you know your hair better than your mama probably not your mama your mom probably know but as you got older you probably experienced your hair you know your hair better than your grandma auntie uncle cousins joe from down the street you know your hair so honestly if you know your hair do what your hair likes and i'm looking every day i'm feeling my hair i'm touching my hair making sure i'm not getting any getting any you know my hair's not feeling any type of way because i am retwisting you know two three months and i've done research where people may have to do a retwist every two weeks because that's what helps their hair yes i'm sorry i rambled so 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 long about the retwist that's why i had to wait that on in the video but yes that is that's what's going on with the retwist and why my hair is so fresh so, yeah the next thing i want to talk about is bebe salt water has been helping my hair now let me make this disclaimer it's helping my hair that's already in the twist let me let me read read helping my hair that's already locked like you know in the twist is helping it lock up one thing i have noticed i do the spray bottle method which i had i did before i did this retwist it does help somewhat at the root so you may want to try the the spray bottle method the straight the spray bottle method should be easier rather than submerging your whole head underwater and let the waves knock you over i still might get in the water why why you know I just rambled about on my hard work and labor and just love the beach. Next thing I want to say, why my hair is like, like, you know, has gotten this way. 
in this amount of time is because I, I wet my hair. Let me let me say it louder for the people in the back. I know this video may sound, you know, like, didn't you just say don't submerge? Don't submerge your hair in water. Like, don't go under the water with a fresh retwist. But how I got my hair to look like this, to get fuzzy, to start budding in certain areas, to start locking in certain areas, to start locking at the root. I wet my hair, I wet my hair. And that's not even just submerging, that's just misting. That's just, you know, some type of water, some type of moisture hit my hair. Once again, I only use water and oil on my head. And I use the um, oil, the Tropical Roots Gel to do my retwist. Once again, what may work for me may not work for you, but what may work for me may work for you. I don't know, try it out, don't. It's up to you. <laughs> yes, I wet my hair. Water is a big, a big factor in my hair. Water, 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 and more water. That's that's all I put on my hair, water. Recently, it was very, very hot, and I noticed that I was sweating a lot. So in that period of time where I did not have a retwist, put my hair under the water in the, um, in the shower, just make sure it got wet. That is it, because I feel like I'm just rambling, y'all. I'm so sorry. Thank you guys for watching my video. Thank you guys for joining my journey. And if you're thinking about lock your hair, baby, this is that sign to do it. <laughs> Go ahead and do it, girl. Go ahead and lock it up, sweetie. Put your hands to two strand twist or go to a professional, whatever you wanna do. Cause like this lock hairstyle life, it's really, it's really showing me a lot of things. It's opening my eyes. I'm getting to know myself better. Not only am I getting to know my hair, but I'm starting to listen to myself. I learned this from my therapist and I'm starting to notice this a lot within my like daily life. So say you're you're doing your daily things and you're talking. Now as you're talking, you're just talking. But if you stopped and listened to yourself talk, you'll start to notice that you're talking. That's literally how I'm going throughout life. I don't know if you guys, I don't know if it makes sense, but like I'm going throughout life, whereas like instead of just living, I'm watching myself live while living at the same time. It may be weird, I know it sounds weird, but like I'm listening to myself a lot more as it, once again, like I'm really in tune with myself. Like I'm watching everything I'm doing. When I'm talking, I hear myself a lot more. So it's like the locks are just, I don't know. It's just helped me, you know, listen to myself understanding myself like the old me would have probably just ignored my voice and i probably would have just been like you know what whatever like ah, i'm gonna do what witch color says i'm gonna do what witch color does no baby i'm listening to myself so if i want to do something baby i'm gonna do it if i want to retwist my hair i'm gonna retwist my hair i don't care what nobody say <laughs> if I want to go get the food, I'm going to get the food. I don't care what nobody say. If I want to, you know, go and walk outside, I'm going to do that. I'm going to listen to myself. And I'm just, these locks, I don't know, baby. They just, they're helping me listen to myself and understand myself. Am I, like, as I said before, not only am I living, but I'm watching myself live. I'm watching what I put inside my body. I'm watching what I do. I'm watching how I treat my body. I'm watching, you know, a lot. Should I watch what I'm putting on my head? which with the oils, the, the water, the natural products, but I'm watching what I put in my body and how I'm treating my body. Am I treating my body naturally? Am I eating naturally? Am I doing things to help me? You know, I'm just living. That's all I can say. <laughs> So once again, I'm sorry for rambling y'all ears off, but like y'all can't hear, so I can ramble y'all ears off. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, sweetheart. Go ahead, go ahead and like, comment, doo -doo. Uh, and then doo -doo. and then don't forget to dee dee. All right, bet. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching my video and I will see you guys on the next one. <laughs> Draco. So she make it clap, clap, clap. She make it clap, clap, clap. She make it